weeping angel. This has got to be it. Now, where'd you hide the stash, Leon? See what's going on here. I just gotta figure out who I'm gonna give this to. Boozer! Boozman, are you listening? Uh, oh, you're not gonna believe this. I just saw a goddamn chopper! A, a chopper? What, what are you talking about? A Nero chopper! It, it just buzzed right over me and acted like I wasn't even there! This time and a fed chopper shows up out of nowhere? Yeah, I'm gonna chase them down and I'm uh, uh I'm gonna see what the hell they're doing. Hey Deke. Be careful. Don't get too close till you know what the hell they're doing. Don't do anything stupid. Hell no, I'm not gonna do anything stupid. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, they're slowing down. Looks like they're stopping. Got a 
go check them out. Let's see what they're doing. All right, gotta go in quiet. Zero, zero, zero. After tracking a large moving group, estimated size of five to six hundred, we have confirmed the subject's hibernation location at... Hey, Doc, I see Site 23 on the roster for tomorrow. That us? No, that's O'Brien. Got it. <sighs> Shit, where was I? We have confirmed the subject's hibernation location at the High Desert Grotto, now designated Site 15. Trampling of grasses and plants at the entrance and the presence of footprints, see attached photos, indicate the site has been used for some time. Must be nice and cozy in there. According to the motion sensor planted by Lieutenant O'Brien, approximately 447 subjects have entered the cave this morning. Recommend sending a follow-up team sometime after 1900 hours to assess the cave's interior and further assess conditions. Now to Dr. Anderson. Your theory about the subjects devolving to a primitive state of nocturnal behavior is seeming more appealing all the time. End report. Not going inside. Keep going, Brian. Did you hear me? Over He's 400 subjects. And these aren't just your regular run of the mill freaks. These are stage three. But they're stuck like bases. No, no, and I asked if you were going in. Be. Didn't say I was. And these subjects are not sleeping, they're hibernating. Ever woken up a hibernating bear? No. <sighs> Ever woken up a hibernating freak? Yeah, actually. I was one of the survivors at the White King mine. Jesus. So I tear my buddy apart like he was peeling a banana. These suits protect you from a lot of shit. But not them. Holy shit, Corporal. Jesus, I'm, I'm sorry. That mission was foobar from the start. Which is why we are not going inside there. I think if I sealed up this cave, we'd, I don't know, knock down their population. I don't know, Corporal. A lot of caves out here. Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah, right, like anyone gets How much time do you think we got? How the hell do I know? We'll bug out when the docks finished. <laughs> what the hell are we doing out here anyway? What you told? The shit. What time is it? What's wrong with you? 
Innocent. Hope we got enough fuel to get back. Going all over hell and back today. But fuel is the least of our problems when we're on the ground. Just stay focused. Boozer, you there? Booze man, come back. Deke, hey, come here. Nero, oh, the soldier. Took Sarah. What do you mean? He had an ID badge. What was the name? Oh, God, O'Brien. Oh, Couldn't shut up about it. All the way out to Three Finger Jack. Yeah, he's alive. Boozer, he's alive. Wiped out. No, I know that, but I heard I went into their LZ, and they... Wait, wait, you, you went into their LZ? What the... Just listen to me. I heard the radio. They were talking about a man named O'Brien. Take don't. I'm not, Boozer. I'm not. I'm just... Hey, uh... Get some sleep. Take it out. Where's Tucker, Alki? Over at the dig site. Well, which one, goddammit? The north one. Back there. If anybody touches this bike, or anything on it, I break your fingers. Whatever, man. Jesus. something I keep telling you everywhere you look it's all one giant lava field 25 feet solid rock it'll take jackhammers to I don't need a lecture god damn it I get it no you don't but these people are hungry, even if they had all their strength. It'll take them months to finish this job with picks and shovels. I don't give a shit! We're all hungry, Al. But this job's got to get done whether it takes all goddamn year. It's not like we got somewhere else to be now, do we? Wait. I'm not finished. We'll make it quick, we get Al. I got things to do. Rippers, this morning, one of my men spotted a large group of them coming over the pass. And no one stopped them. How the f... Tucker, you know we're already spread thin. Are, are they headed north? Al, are they headed towards us? Yes or no? I... 
I don't know. Maybe he knows. <laughs> what the fuck are you up to now, huh? What's this about, huh? Damn it, Alkai. It's not his job to know, it's your goddamn job to know. I can't be at two places at one time. You're the one me here, running your dig? Or you want me out there in the shit? Chasing the rippers. Go check the store, see how much ammo we got left. I'll tell Wheeler to watch the dig. What are you looking at? Oh, I don't know, I'm just waiting for you to smarten the fuck up. Don't! Did you track down Leon? Good thing someone around here knows how to make things happen. Ride with me. How long has it been since you found someone, brought him in? The kind of people left out in the shit aren't the kind of people you want me bringing in. We lost two more to the fever. It's not my problem. You want our food? I'm making it your problem. I told you we'll do runs for you, but we're not joining your goddamn camp. Remind me again, my old woman's memory. Why is that? <laughs> because it's a waste of time, Tuck. <laughs> Well, aren't you the optimist? Where's Boozer? He said he was gonna head over to Copeland's camp, see about trading for some fish. You're not in bed with Cope now, are you? His camp near yours? It's not closer or further. Look, I'm not Boozer's old lady. He goes where he wants. I don't care. <laughs> Jesus. You keep the shit burning all day and night. Got a lot of freak corpses piling up out here. With men like you doing your jobs, damn right we keep You'll burning. Used to it. Try using more gasoline. Burns faster, less fumes. Like we got so much to spare? When it's all gone, what are you gonna put in that bike of yours, spit and sweat? Now what the hell is going on here? The count's off. Storage is missing food and some ammo. Jesus. Who was on watch last night? Wheeler. Tonight, double the watch. This shit's starting to piss me off. You got it. Trouble in paradise? It's like I was saying. Camp's like a prison. Bunch of goddamn lazy liars, thieves, rapists, and murderers. You know why that is? No idea. Cause that's who we are. The freak show. Only folks survived were those mean enough, nasty enough to out-freak the freaks. The rest are here. Hoping I feed them, protect them, keep them nice and cozy and warm. You bring me warm bodies, I'll give you all the credits you can spend. I gotta go find Wheeler. Someone's looking at a knight in the shack. Let's see what I can do. Alcott. What do you want, Drifter? What's your problem? Hmm? One of my men uh, escaped to Ripper Camp over by Iron Butte. Got tortured, like they always do. But this time they kept asking me if he knew about it. Two bikers, two men, asking me if he'd ever seen them or heard of them. A lot of bikes around here. What's it, <laughs> what's it got to do with me? The Ripper called them mongrels. How many drifters still flying colors around here? As if that shit matters. If you ask me, you got a price on your head. How's it feel to be on the other side? Yeah, why don't you just show me what you got because I don't have time for your bullshit. Whatever you say, Deke. They'll need something. I just gotta figure out who I'm gonna give this to. We can't head north until I get better gear. Tucker it is. Hey, Tuck. You get my drugs from Leon? 
Yeah. Yeah, Cope wanted me to sell to him, but uh, I know who my friends are. Huh, you got that right. Go see Alkai. I heard Larson brought in a stash of shotguns and rifles. Maybe he's got something you can use. doing what's happening this okay I'm just gonna grab some shot eye. Okay, let's go. an artist. Be long. You here for your bike? Deke, you there? Boozer, what the hell aren't you in your damn bunk? I couldn't sleep. Remember what I said back in the tunnel? Don't go out there, Deke. It's, it's making you crazy. Boozer, I. Okay, look. I go up there because there's freaks out there. Here, I can't look there. Bounties are all the same. Then what are the two lips for? I saw them, Deke. Here on the table. This morning. The same one she had at the wedding. I remember. I'm not gonna... Listen, loser. Get some rest. I gotta go. Deacon out. Son of a bitch, you radio me. Copeland out. Bike. 
There he is! Silver helmet, red gas tank. That's him. You can't get away oh, from shit. me! The hell? So you thought you'd ride at the Copeland's camp, shoot the place up, that all right? Kill a few folks, take some shit, and just ride out, and you just chop them all. Don't let him get away, Deke. If you want to know the truth, give Drifters a bad name. But what if you'd shot me? You know, who fixed my bike then? Stupid piece of shit. <laughs> Screw you! You want to cope with Stonies, you little bitch! That's what you are, you little bitch! Nope, it's done. I got him. Uh, you tell Mark down these coordinates and send your man out of here. You hear me? Is he alive? Hey, hey, Drifter. Yeah, he's alive. Hey, but I won't promise you how long he's gonna stay you that way. Deacon out. You tell me. 